Feedback from speakers are a big distraction in your live production. You don't need it. It causes nuisance while the service is ongoing. Hence the need to understand how to deal with them while setting up your sound system. Lest they make a mess of your adequacy. In case you are unfamiliar with the term feedback, it simply means the screeching and all sound you get from your speakers when a microphone is being used. What causes feedbacks? Feedbacks occur when the signal sent from your microphone into the system comes out of the speakers and it is picked up again by the same microphone. Please note that there can be feedback in your sound system when there is no use of microphone. That is, every time there is a feedback, it just means there is a microphone involved. Also, there cannot be feedbacks in your sound system without speakers involved because the speaker is actually what fits the microphone back with the same signal it is producing. That's why it's called feedbacks. It is important that you know this so you can know what to tackle when you have to deal with feedback issues. You don't deal with the keyboard when you have a feedback issue. You go for an instrument using microphones. In what cases can you experience feedback? When your speakers are behind your microphone and facing your microphone directly, then you have feedback issues. When your gain is set too high in a small room, you can have feedback back issues because what happens is the reflections bouncing from the walls will end up reflecting back into the microphone which causes feedback. When you are using an omnidirectional mic close to a speaker, omnidirectional mics have a polar pattern that accepts sound from all directions which makes it vulnerable to receiving feedback from the sound reflected off the walls and from nearby speakers. So what's the solution? Always ensure your speakers are placed in front of the stage facing the audience. The idea is to get the speakers far enough from the mic so they don't cause feedbacks. Get a perfect gain for the signal, ensure it's strong enough to be hard and safe enough not to cause feedbacks. Because the more you gain, the farther the waves can go. And they can go far enough as to return to the microphone source. You can get by with a higher gain in an open space where there is little to no reflections, but not in a small room where the waves are bouncing all around. The third fix is to make use of cardioid microphones. Cardioid microphones have a polar pattern that rejects sound from the rear. This will help avoid feedback as most times the signal causing feedback will be coming from the rear. Another trick is to ring out the particular frequency that is causing the feedback using your EQ. So you have to make use of your ears. If the feedback you are hearing sounds like it might be in the high frequency, then go to that region and determine which particular frequency amidst the high frequencies is causing the feedback. To be effective, you can start by slightly increasing the volume of the frequencies around that range just to find out the specific frequency that is causing it. Once you find out that the feedback suddenly pumps up while increasing a particular frequency, then you drop down that frequency because now you are sure that frequency is the one causing the feedback. Usually you want to drop down the neighboring frequencies as well because this also contributes to the feedback as well. So that's it guys, if you follow these tips you should be able to get rid of any feedback problems in your sound system. If you have further questions you can ask me in the comments below or if you have another way you deal with feedback which I didn't mention in this video you can share with the community in the comments below. If you got any value out of this tutorial click the like button and subscribe to this channel. See you another time, God bless you. Yeah.